Man, that was one hell of an episode, but good thing it's not canon. Wait. Wait, it is canon? Th that actually happened? Well, shit, fuck this, I'm out. No more. I ain't watching anymore. I ain't watching this shit. Hello, everybody, this is Des Hopkins up here, aka Desi, and. I thought last episode was bad. This episode. Th this fucking episode. This. This has to be. I don't, I don't want to say the worst episode of High Rollers, because, like, it wasn't, it wasn't bad, per se, as in it, I didn't, I wasn't interested or anything, but, oh my god! What the hell? I mean, I know, Mark, I know you were hang, I know you were angry, I know you were hangry, but, really? Really, Mark? Okay, uh, uh, welcome to Rambling Rollers for High Rollers episode, who the fuck cares, because, oh my god. Uh, fucking, what episode? I don't, I don't remember. Uh, 70 something, but I don't care right now. Let's just, let's just get talking into it. It starts off with them finishing, fighting the giant, giants, and, uh, yeah, they almost get slaughtered and stuff. It's like, and like, they get a call from, Trill gets a call from Nilly Street. He is, Nilly Street is badly injured. He said, Nilly Street said he stabilizes Fenrir, and Cassandra did something, and like, Everything is just fucked. Grunka almost dies, but she doesn't thank God. But, um, that's the old- I think that's the She's one of the only people to fucking live in this episode, okay? You- you guys watch the episode. I- well, unless, like, you don't watch the episode and you just watch these, in which case, what are you doing? But, you know, you know, you know. It, 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 this episode, man. This fucking episode. Like, uh, anyways, uh... Yeah, anyways, that fight happens, uh, once that's over, they call, uh, they call Nilistri again, see what's happening. Uh, he, he, and Nilistri said, Cassandra's gone. Now, people in the chat were like, okay, maybe, maybe, some, like, chat was sort of 50-50, like, half chat was like, oh no, she's dead, shit, and the other half was like, oh, maybe she's not dead, maybe she did something, maybe Lightborn Powers, maybe the dragon just took her, who knows, and, like, and then, so basically, they go to see what's up with the hobgoblins since uh, Trixania or Tri Trixiana, Mark, what what was her name called? And uh, we see a uh, fucking Barris dead, a bunch of people dead, but mainly Barris and Trixania in the corner, cowarding. Out of all the people who lived, it had to be her. I mean, she was kind. Of, she's kind of bitch face McGee. It's like. Barris, Barris has been with us since Tallfield, goddammit. Barris is our boy. We, Barris was everything. Like, and chat, fuck, like, chat rioted. And, like, if we thought, if you guys thought, like, the Cassandra thing is bad, it's like, people going 50 for that. Chat, chat was just, just done. Chat was just fucked when, when they found out Barris was dead. And so, like, this whole thing happens, they fight, they fight these hobgoblins, and shit, and, uh, yeah, basically, uh, yeah, that, that happens, I, I want to get to the most important part of this episode, because this part, this part, and the part that comes up later, that is connected, it just fucked me up, okay, so, there's this creature, I forgot her name, it starts with an M, I don't, I don't give a fuck, okay, after this episode, I really don't give a fuck, but basically, she, she, like, party, like, uh, Judo or Trill's trying to make a deal with her. Judo said was gonna sacrifice her soul in, uh, like, two th 200 souls in a ritual, uh, to have her on their side for, like, eight hours. Well, fucking Trillamar, goddamn a leaf, sacrificed himself. He sacrificed himself to the god, forgot his name, once again, I don't give a fuck, I'm still emotional, and, like, ugh, like, ugh, and, like, he, and, and basically, burst of flames, boom, Trill is gone. Like, this, this got me, this got me teary, like, pretty goddamn teary-eyed, like, tears actually flowed down my face, but that ain't it, oh no, we'll, we'll get on, we'll, we'll continue that lovely, lovely story later, so basically, fucking, alright, so they get, they, uh, yeah, they, pff, fucking, yeah, but, yeah, Trill's gone, and they have her on the side, they tried to take a short rest, but goddamn dragon took a thunder thing, Fun, fun thing. What? What if I, I don't care anymore? Okay, I I honestly don't give a shit. This is the episode where I am just done with everything, just fucking done. 
so, and like, ugh, and then like, with that, we find out that fucking Cassandra, Svenmir, and I'm pretty fucking sure Howell is dead, and there is like no way to resurrect them. I, well, Cassandra made, I'm pretty sure we can resurrect Cassandra, but Howell and probably Svenmir, I don't, maybe Svenmir, cause like, he, I don't think he's been res before, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. I, if he did, I, I forgot, if he did in the past, I forgot, please leave down in the comments below, I would really appreciate that. But, uh, Howell, yeah, Howell's gone forever, which, fuck, they killed the good boy. They killed the good boy! They, at this, fucking everybody is either getting dead, or making contract with demons. And, fucking, the, this episode has the most good guy deaths, okay? Like, in the past, there has been a lot of bad guy deaths, yeah. But, like, who the fuck cares about that? This episode, so many good guys die. Barris, Cassandra, Svenrir, Howell, and Trill just gone. Gone. You will see. I will talk about what happens to him later, because... <sighs> Anyways, and like one of the, and another um, like and then after Lady Amy, we find out Lady Amy to protect uh to protect Korak, she turned back into a, she turned into her dragon form, and uh fucking attacked. She, he just she just like attacked dra dragon. It, though so it's more in internship, but like like and she's upset because she broke her oath with Bahamut or ba Bahamut. I don't know, but <sighs> she just. And she is so emotional, she was crying, but, but, like, as pissed off as I am at Mark Humes right now, and trust me, that does a lot, I have to get him credit, I have to give him credit for this, for how he acts out Lady a Amy in this scene, because you feel her emotions, you feel how upset she is that she had to break her oath and her promise, and, like, and, but, like, she had to, she knew she had to do it to protect, to protect Adric slash Korak, and it's like, and and it, you just feel a ton of emotion for her. You just feel bad for her. You want to give her a hug. I wanted to give her a hug. And le so I gotta give him props for that. Like Lady Amy is a great character, and I I loved her in the scene. But uh, anyways, uh, uh, Bronca and Reynard have another little moment. Still haven't fucking kissed. I am just waiting for that. We got the Nalora kiss. Nalora kiss like three times. Okay, we got three Nalora kisses in these few episodes. Just a tiny peck from Grunknart. That is all I'm asking. That would have made so at least something good come out of this episode. Because literally, no, I don't think any good came out of this episode. Besides, uh, maybe, like, this one poor, one, alright, when, uh, when Lady Amaryllis was, like, uh, praying to ba Bahumit to, uh, get, uh, to make it so, uh, the, so the players have, like, make it feel like they took a long rest, like, like, re regain hit points and spell spell slots instantly. And luckily it works. And they get all back back and go to fight next episode. And <sighs> Yeah, so that's that's probably the only good thing to come out of this episode. Um, and now we get to this part of the episode. Now. Let, let me just tell you. Alright, you know, I'm just going to tell you what happened. Before I tell you something. So, Trell is in this sort of citadel place. And there he meets, he meets someone. I forgot who, I don't know if it's the Lord or something. Whatever, whatever demon fuck that is, evil dude, I don't know. But basically, Trellamar grows horns, a tail, turns demonic. And so does Granamir. And he is now that god, that god's champion. I need to tell you guys something. All the uh, there has been a lot of emotional moments during High Rollers. Uh, like in my top ten, in my top five emotional moments in High Rollers video. I've gotten like most of those moments. I gotten teary eyed at the very most, but I have never full out cried during any of those moments. I didn't even, I didn't, and like, even this episode, I didn't cry. I didn't full-on cry when, when I found out Barris died, or Cassandra, or Svenrir, or Howl. Yes, I felt sad, but I didn't cry. Hell, heck, when Trell first made the deal, I got teary-eyed. Yes, a few cheeks, uh, fell down my face, but I didn't full-out cry. That ending is the first thing in High Rollers to make me full out cry my eyes out not even trill's first goodbye made me cry that much because even though he was leaving i knew 
he would still be okay, that he was still Chalamar. But the way Mark described it, and the way he changed, and knowing old Trell would never be with us, probably ever again, that is what broke me. That is the straw that broke the camel's back. I don't know if it's because it, of all the other things leading up to it that happened in this episode, or if it's just that. Because, to be honest, I used to be full-on Shrelomar trash, like... Like, now, Elora's my favorite character, but, like, there was, like, time, like, last year or some, like, something, like, I was, I was just full-on trash for Trelamar Leaf. I had, I even had, like, a bit of a crush on him, okay? But, uh, yeah, that, this, this, what happened in today's episode is the first thing that made me legit cry. So, uh, Matthew, or Mark, whatever. I don't know whether to thank you or be really pissed off at you. Okay. Also, my niece, though she doesn't watch the show, she loves High Rollers. I tell her the stories and stuff and she loves them. Trell is one of her favorite characters. I didn't have the heart to tell her what actually happened to him. I just, like, I tried to tell her, but it's like, I just told her he just turned into a dinosaur instead. Because that's probably a better ending. <laughs> to be honest, death would be a better ending than that, because at least... At least with death, like, Trell maybe it's in a good place, or maybe, uh, maybe he could get rezzed, you know, all that good stuff, but, uh, I don't know if there's any comeback from this. Uh, I heard somebody on the Discord or something tell me, say something about Lady Amaryllis and that she had something, like an orb or something, like great contracts, but, uh, I don't know. But, this episode, this episode will be known as the episode, especially the ending, it will be known as the one episode that absolutely broke me. So yeah, uh, really heavy, really heavy shit here. Hopefully, hope to God, next episode is better. Cause like last week we had a fun, you know, happy, happy go lucky, yay. um, high rollers one shot at insomnia. You you know, having good times and shit. Um. Uh, um, yeah, uh, then this shit happens. Like, way to go from zero to a hundred, Mark. Like, really, uh, Hope to God everything's okay. At least, at least Nalistri is okay, okay? At the very least, Nalistri is okay. But I have a feeling if Nalistri died, that would be the straw that breaks the camel's back. And, uh, the, like, the whole High Rollers community would just charge at Mark all at once. And, uh, he, he probably, uh, would be banished. J just banished. Somebody would cast ban Banish on him and he'd be gone. But then again, if that happened, we couldn't res Millie Street, so... Well, they, they, please keep him alive, Mark. Please. I know, from what I've heard, I know you love Millie Street as much as the rest of us do. I'll, at the very least, if you're going to kill everybody, don't kill the ones that have the ships, don't, especially Millie Street. He deserves happiness. He's been through enough shit in his life. He's... Going through shit right now. He's probably thinking, why me? Why, why did I live? Me and my friend were literally talking... Me and my friend Jeff were... By the way, how Jeff watched this video? We were literally talking about this, like, a few moments ago. It's like... Like, Millie Street. He's, like... He's a wizard. He's, he's like, skinnier. He's, like... And as much as I love my boy, he seems, like... He seems, like, less powerful. Now, he could have gotten stronger from what we heard. You know, he's learned from Albert and stuff. He could have gotten stronger from the last time we saw him. And, yeah. But, like, still. He, like... There has been a lot happening in his life. He found out he's he's adopted. His family, his family, the one I knew, is all dead. This all this shit going on in the war. All he has left, pretty pretty much all he has left is Alora. Just Alora and his spire, but mostly, mo mo I think mostly Alora because you know they have a good connection. But like, just it's fucking heartbreaking. Even if Millie Street survived this, he ain't, he probably. Ain't gonna be too good. Like, hopefully, I hope to God, everybody gets a happy ending. Including Drell! Yeah, please. Please, I beg. Uh, please, Lord of Andra. Please, please, Bahumit. Please, Mark Cubes. Please, everybody. I just want a happy ending. Can, can, like, I know this is war. And, like, I know Judo gave a very inspiring speech, which is great. But And I know this is war. But there, can there be some hap- Can we just get something that doesn't make me depressed? Please? Just everything that happened in this episode. Like, the stakes have been getting higher and higher. Like, the first 
the first episode of Siege, it's like, it like set the bar, it's like, oh man, um, like you felt like, you, like I said in that, in that video, you felt the dread. And, and like the next episode, you felt, you felt the panic. And this episode, you, you felt the sadness. You, you feel like, like to me personally, I feel like when I'm watching these, like, especially these episodes, especially this arc, I feel like I am with the characters in this. And that I'm experiencing it with this. And in a way, I kind of am. We we all kind of are in a way. But, yeah. Anyways, that's that's just my video, guys. I, I really don't know how to close it out. Uh, leave a like if you did. And comment what you think and stuff. Uh, pray, for a, pray for a better episode. At least... At least a victory, okay? Let's at least get a victory. And everybody being okay. A and please, let's res them, okay? Let's just res everybody. Let's, please, can we please find a way to get Trill back? I, won't, I, I, don't, I don't like that stuff. But anyways, that's it, guys. I will see you in the next, in next video. Peace.